Right guys, Gaff is back with the explanation to the trick you were seen yesterday. Um, this trick, well, how I did it, did involve a gimmick card or gaff card and it was Gaffer's faithful trusted jack of spades. But this time I've crimped the jack of spades from the face up, thumbs in the middle, fingers on the back, a bit of pressure and draw your fingers to the corners. So there's a bevel on the card. So what that's going to allow me to do is when there are some cards on top, there will be a natural break above that card so I can just cut the cards that are above this crimped card. So I showed you how to do the centre double lift. This trick uses a centre double lift, but in my performance I did a centre double four card lift. I wanted to do three cards, I did four cards. And the only way I realised I'd done four cards is when I picked them up, I thought, oh, Christ, that's a bit thick. So I had to think on the fly to get rid of that extra card. But it was planning to be a triple lift. So you're going to give the cards a shuffle if you want, making sure you do not disturb the top card. Keep your crimped card on the top. And then you're going to riffle down. Spectator is going to call out stop any time they like. So they stop right here. You're going to put your finger in and take one, two, three cards, spin them out and show them the King of Arts. Place the King of Arts on the top and then cut a small portion off the bottom. Take off the top card, which they think is the King, and drop these on top. And I will just show you. You can now show that the King is not on the bottom. Neither is it on the top. The King is in fact somewhere else in the pack. So you're just going to riffle down and put this card anywhere you like. The actual king is now on top of the deck. Now you're just going to take out four random cards. Let's say we have this one, this one, this one, and this one. It does not matter what these cards are. And you're just going to pull them out and put them on the top of the deck and show them you've got the ten of diamonds, the nine of hearts, the seven of hearts, and the seven of diamonds. Was your card any of these? Now you know it wasn't any of these because this was a uh, face-up reveal of the card so you already know it wasn't one of these. But all you're going to do now is because you've got your crimp card on the top there will be a massive break. You can quickly do a thumb break and capture all those cards plus the actual chosen card because of this crimped card. So now just for clarity you can show the ten of diamonds, peel off the ten. Peel off the nine of hearts and then instead of peeling the seven of hearts all the way, just show the seven of hearts and the seven of diamonds holding this diamond as a double and then close everything up. Give the card to the spectator to hold or put them on the table and then just get your spectator to think of their card. And with a little bit of magic or a little click, when they now spread these cards, there will be five cards. There will be one face down card in the middle and it will be the spectator's chosen card. So that's how the trick works guys. It just used a crimped card and like Gaffer says every deck he owns has a crimped card. Um, I do have a few um, sort of collector's decks but to me they are not collector's decks they are using decks. So that's how we did it with the Black Scorpion deck from Steve Pritchett and look what else has arrived from Stephen as well. The Bicycle Bourbon 808 deck. We'll have a quick look at the cards. Faces. Let's have a look at some of the picture cards. Look. The thing I noticed which is good about this deck is it's got like these, I guess they're like advertising cards as such like you find in all bicycle cards, bicycle decks, but the back design is the card design. Brilliant. So that gives me two extra cards to play with without disturbing the rest of the deck. And the back design is nice and cool. Look. Sorry about my glare from my lamp. And they feel beautiful. Oh, look at that gaffer you're showing off. Oh, we could do one of these. Oh, no, we could do one of these, couldn't we? Woo. Oh, oh right, we'll give up now. Trying to show off and cocking it all up. But Steve Pritchett, what a dude. 
I can say I've got some fantastic subscribers. The Gas Squad are awesome. I've received some presents, some fan mail, should we call it fan mail? And I've also had some gifts um, through monetization. So I appreciate it, guys. So comment, subscribe, like, and come back tomorrow for another card trick. Cheers, Steve. What a dude. Nice one.